story? I'll tell you the story. As I remember it. I had a chance once to change the world for good. Listen, here is how I failed, and not just I. a thing. I could touch it, feel it, smell it. But I was a soldier. Even Archimedes didn't grasp it until the very end. And perhaps not even then. yet. Marcella? Who is that? My first lieutenant. But you'll see. Begin at the beginning with the original mistake. I see now, but I could not see then where the experiment was taking place or the magnitude of the failure. the way it all began, apparently, at least according to one old fellow. Listen!
With chaos, we begin. With chaos we begin, a vast, unbounded turbulence, a churning of the whole material mass. Little more than a shadow of one idea. Rest it into order corporeal. The visible fire. And after it, the tangible earth. For a bond between them. Air and water. All combining in this world, I shape as on a lathe into a perfect sphere. Here at the center I fix the sacred flame. So. Its warmth, its wrath interfusing all things. This world a sphere turning and turning in a sphere. <laughs> Speaks immediate, inviolate, alone unto itself. Image without time. Eternity is motionless, and this sphere moves in seamless sequence, number constituting time. Look, heaven and time are coming out together. And to figure time in its measured course, I will create sun and moon there. Hot light and cold. And then, and then, the stars. A billion burning in black ice, expanding, shrinking. (laughs) 
And now this blue globe I set spinning. Spinning round a warming sun, circled by an ice bright moon, regularly. A rhythm that for sentient beings makes time and number. To set a seal upon this little world, now will I people it. First, godlings, forged of fire that they be the brightest, shine brightest in the dome of mind. Then other creatures that fly and creep and swim and grow in place and smell sweet and bear fruit and young and increase their number. And lastly, you, Demiurge, I bid arise. To you falls the riddle of man. Create the tribe of humans so and so that they may not equal gods but may imitate them perfectly. And now I fill this cup.
He'd gotten through those early phases, not always laughing, but you have the idea, perhaps. He's no longer a child, not yet a man. But the geometry, the proportions, the ratios, they all ignite. And then a becoming, something takes hold. He begins to understand that he understands. And magnificently.
The first test. You cannot expect Archimedes to grow up like the rest of us. What I mean is the extraordinary acuity, the unparalleled penetration, the extreme fastidiousness of mind will far outstrip developments of a more rudimentary
documentary, Nature. Self-fulfilling, perfect forms. Gods, yes, I kneel before them. So, where are they? I wonder. Here are only traces in sand. He hasn't found an answer yet, has he? What was the question? Silly. That Roman consul, Marcellus, who won the northern war against the Gauls, sent our good king a wreath of solid gold to honor us, Syracuse, his ally. But Hiron cannot tell if the Roman gift is true or mixed with bronze or silver. The priests, as usual, are clueless. You mean it after meditating mud to scrabble up the truth? Exactly.
torture. That's why they call us slaves. We got it worse than Margaret and his of a parabola and through it draw a plane perpendicular to the surface of the fluid intersecting the parabola in this parabola which is the base of the segment here and the plane of the surface of the fluid in the cord of the parabola Another axis here and call it the fixed diameter of a right angled conoid. The vertex there, the point where a plane first touches. And obtuse angled conoids are similar if their enveloping conoids are similar. I resolve an acute angled cone about its major axis to get an oblong spheroid. Around its lesser axis will produce a flat spheroid. Eureka! 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 Yes, you found it. But he found, in fact, more, far more than he then knew. But was it the math? The bath. Well, it's not to be denied. Here on lies King of Syracuse. Of course, but it's only the beginning. Observe.
observe then. Here is a sphere of silver. Here is another of gold. Each weighs three libri, the weight of the wreath of Marcellus. Here are two cylinders filled with water to an equal height. The liquid rises to the column lip. And here it overflows. Ingenious proof. Well done, Archimedes. Bravo. 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 Bravo, Archimedes. They say it came to you while bathing. Yes, well, that is the idea. By all means, then, do bathe. And often. The idea is just bathe every day. By all means, bathe. idea came. They say two young slaves were bathing you when it appeared for the first time. Appeared? Appeared? Appeared. It's just appeared. What a fine Indeed, I do see, and as nothing else appeared to you before or since. Um, well, of course, a few here. I'll try to show you. My method is simplicity. With my eyes, these I notice a snail, a bird, a cat, a spider, a wave curling into shore, an overflowing path. You see. Then I ask, by what means may I repeat this motion? Mechanics. And then I ask, what is the principle? Geometry. My diagrams become regular and the rule divided. Proportions. And these bring me to the logic I suspect is true. And then, most ravishing of all to the mind's eye, the proof. You see. The sense of this escapes me. What does he say? What does he mean? 
What are you talking about? Look, here are some geometries. Water spirals up in a never-ending circle. Ships float like parabolas, poised in equilibrium along the center line. So balances great at unequal distances, so that one man can move a mountain. With ratios and a rope. I measure the universe with a grain of sand. Proportion. Mechanics.
Archimedes, I have built a magnificent ship, built and adorned with the finest splendors, made by Syracusan hands. It is the emblem of all that I've achieved in years, years of peaceful rule. But the vessel is too huge to move. You yourself will move it with your own He 
just a playing with forms and numbers. But founded on mathematical law, by a human mind. One known here is this for all times known and everywhere.
ones. Lend to it your mind. Give to it your gift. You and I. Together we can still perfect and preserve this golden age beyond our own brief time. Harmony and beauty, now I see there is no end to strive. Peace and beauty are in the idea Harmony in the relations Each to each Join me, together we will form this fragile harmony. Marcellus.